Okay guys, welcome back. I am here with Cyril. Uh, he's a visitor from France. He's here with Marcel, his son. And today we're going to do two things. Cyril's going to make lunch for us, a French recipe, and then I'm going to make a coquito for him. All right, Cyril, what are you going to make for us today? Oh, we, we do a um, recipe from France uh, with uh, French cheese. Yeah. It's very good. Um, it's a recipe we, we're doing um, sometimes in, um, for Christmas. Um, it's very easy to, to do it, but it's very very nice and um, it's, a, it's a very good time because it, it's a friendly party, you know, when you eat. It's not you do before and after you eat alone. You, um, it's easy for doing and after it's friendly because you have just one plate for, um, for take, uh, some people take in. Um, and what do you call it? What is it called? Oh, we have cheese, French cheese, we have um, a little bit of white wine, a okay. little bit of garlic, a um, little bit of muscad, you know. Okay. After we, we have a bread, French bread, we have found in the uh, United States. Baguette? It is good, okay. baguette. Yeah. And we put in the in the four for, for some, some times. Okay. And uh, it's okay. All right, so Siri, you can you can go ahead and start your, yeah. your recipe, which is going to be our lunch today, and then I'm going to show you how to do coquito. This is a Puerto Rican coquito that I'm going to uh, do. A lot of my viewers have seen it many many times before, and but I want you to taste it today. Just yeah. Tell us what you know. I want this too. How you like it or? I like uh, Bacardi rum, but I yeah. don't know coquito. <laughs> okay, so. Um, go ahead. You can okay, start. I, I start. Yeah. Okay, how you, I start. How do you, how do you, what is the first the, thing you have to do? Um, what what is your answer? Uh, what is the first thing you have to do to I, make this? I'm recipe? beginning by the bread because um, okay. I think the, the more longer for for cook because I put in the, the four. Okay. And take my hand and uh, I I beginning by the bread and after it's very easy and quickly for for doing the recipe. Okay. All right, Siri. Uh, a couple of people have asked me how did I meet you? Oh, and okay. a long time ago. I don't remember because I'm too young. Yeah. But I think you you know where we we meet you for the first time. It's uh, 1986. 86. Yes. One years ago. Old. Correct. I'm very, 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 very young. Maybe you have a photo of that one? I do. And yeah. what I was active duty Navy back in 86 and we were doing a Mediterranean cruise and we just happened to stop at St. Cyr sur Mer, France. And the reason we stopped there is because it was a 100, 100 year anniversary of the Statue of Liberty. And if you know, we have, there are actually four statues. The, the big Statue of Liberty in New York City there is one miniature or small statue uh, in Paris, another one in Saint Cyr sur Mer, which is yep. where Sidid is from, and the fourth one or the third small one disappeared. No one knows where it is. Um, and because you know they were doing the hundred year anniversary, and there was a lot of festivities, and your mom invited us, your yep. mother and father invited yep. me and Nelson Cordero, a friend of mine from the ship, yep. to, to have dinner at your house and spend the whole day at your house. Yep. And that's where I met you and I'm going to show a picture here of Cyril when he was about one year old. Yep. And uh, there's another picture of my, me, uh, Cybele, which is his sister, and Cedric and Nelson Cordero and also this other picture you can see his mother and his father so yeah I'm so happy to see yeah. you now your mother was supposed to come up here this time this time oh, with yeah. you but she couldn't due to uh, yeah, the weather she's, she's a little bit uh, old now yeah and she have a little bit of his, his problem and maybe it's not his problem but uh, the colder is too colder here for for yeah, so totally. yeah. I think she, she visits you in, uh, in summer or May or yeah. June, something else. And like we said, I've known CD and his family since 86. I visited France again in the early 90s. You came to visit us in 2003, which yeah. is about 20 years ago. And now, yeah. now you're back. Yeah. That's, that's Marcel, his son. <laughs> Mom! 
Bah c'est aussi, attention, on va sur ton bois, on va te voir sur la caméra là. Il va quand même sur les quinchillis, ma soeur. On va faire le film de la recette. Tu peux dire bonjour à la caméra. Est-ce ma soeur Tu dis hello Hello My wife is hiding today. She's on a, she's not cooking. <laughs> she's happy. Yeah. <laughs> and Marcel's only six years old and he doesn't speak any English yet. Well, some, some, yeah. some old now, huh? Because he learned. Okay, he's learning. Yeah, now, um, we, we are in the United States from, um, not one, one month, but uh, three weeks now. Yeah. And you begin to, to learn some words that say uh, hello, good morning, good night. And after you leave here next yeah, week, top. Après, fini. Yeah. you're going over to uh, Miami. You're going to spend another 20 or so days here yeah. in Miami. Yeah. You're going to go to Disney World and, and a bunch I, of other places. I want to learn uh, the, 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 the accent, you know, from, because uh, English is. The first time you, you, you understand after you can you can speak, you know. Yeah. But understand is more important for 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 a good relationship. Mm -hmm. All the part of the bread. The bread is ready. Yeah, the bread is ready. How long is it go? Does it have to go in the oven for? I don't know. We check, but I think it's ten minutes. Okay. Ten minutes maximum because it's not too hard, you know. It's just uh, for um, crispy. Okay. Alright. He said 200, but it's 400 Fahrenheit. Yeah. 200 Celsius, which comes to about 400 Fahrenheit. Okay. Adding some olive oil. There we go. Alright. 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. But we're gonna check it. Yeah, we Every can check minutes. it, but it's taking minutes. I think it's good. Now. We can take the wet wine, different friends too, because it's rising. Rising, rising it's um, uh, north east of France. Oh, okay. Um, it's a city. Yeah, it, uh, Strasbourg. Okay, so it's, Strasbourg. it's a region. Okay. It's Strasbourg, you know Strasbourg, the, yeah, the town? Strasbourg. Yeah, it's a um, front of Strasbourg. Um, it, it produces the, the rising. The, you, we use rising. Uh, it's a very good wine. Il n'y a plus de pain, Maceo. Allez, sors de la maceo. Il n'y a plus de pain, Maceo. Pain. Maceo. Pain. Maceo. Pain. Doing a video. <laughs> bon. Masha, Masha and the bear. Tu veux que j'étais le machin yeah. Bon, alors s'il te plaît, madame. Ok. <laughs> we use rizzo, we use rizzi for okay. cooking. Yeah. Muscles. Muscles. Oh. Oh, ok, so you use the riesling yeah, for muscles. For, for, for do the, the sauce. The sauce, you know, because the muscles um, cooking in the um, sauce, and you put uh, wine in the sauce, and we use a, a lot with um, uh, white recipe. Uh, uh, sorry, sea recipe. So you use a lot of wine, or a little bit of wine on cooking, everyday cooking in France. Yeah. Because I know you love you love to cook. I yeah, can't yeah, yeah. cook anything. Yeah, yeah. Maria does all the cooking and she's sitting over there, right, Maria? Yes. I, what what is it that I know how to do? An egg? That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. She said it. Okay. But I know you love to cook. You yeah, cook yeah. every day, right? At but home? because I don't have uh, people, uh, person for cooking for me. Because you say maybe, maybe one day, but uh, yeah. So what are we gonna do now? I take uh, my. Um, my garlic okay. for put in the... Um, what, what is the name? I don't know. Uh, slow cooker. Slow cooker? Slow cooker, yeah. Okay. Because the cheese go to the slow cooker after. Okay. But before, we take the garlic and we put in just for, for our little tasting of garlic. Okay. But it, it's important because the garlic is, uh, is good. You know I'm learning how to do this too as I'm watching. Yeah. Oh. How many? Well, it's just, just, just for um, oh, that one, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's very warm. Yeah, it's okay. I have, um, I have put low. I love garlic. Me too. Yeah. I put in uh, all, all, all my recipe. I put garlic in the house. Now, see, so that garlic, that garlic I grew in my garden back then. No way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We put in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. And I, I have garlic planted there now, yeah, you have which seen is it. not gonna grow, you're not gonna see the shoots until April. Oh, 
after we can go, we can put the, the wine, yeah. uh, 30 centiliters, okay. probably a milliliter, but it's okay. okay. I'm going to stand here like the guy on Milk Street. Whoop. I'm just asking you 25. questions, all right? Okay. Wait, well, yeah, it's good. How many cups is that? One, one cup, cup for one cup one for cup. Um, 250 milliliter. Okay. And I put again 50. Okay. Oh, the more is not important. Oh, that's okay. You can go over if you want. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, now we wait. The wine um, could, could be hot. Okay. From from he, he lose a little bit of alcohol, you know. Oh, okay. Yes. And when he is off, we can put all the cheese in. Okay. And after it just uh, just I do with the spatula for yeah. because it's not it's the, it's very important to move the cheese yeah. for yeah. Have a good consistency. You know? If we're gonna wait a few minutes on yeah. that, yeah. then I can begin mine because okay. mine's gonna be very, very fast and easy. Yeah, me too. I, th I think. All right. So this is a uh, coquito, and these are the ingredients. And you seen you see me before do this. All right. So it's one can of evaporated milk, one can of condensed milk, two cans of cream of coconut, two teaspoons of cinnamon powder, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And I almost forgot about a half a bottle of Bacardi. So we're just gonna throw that in here and mix it all up and it's gonna be very, very quick. So let's start with the milks. Okay. I know it's gonna be a little bit sweet, mm -hmm. but, but it's, uh, it's gonna be different. Uh, yeah. That's for sure. I don't know. And we, in Puerto Rico, uh, my father makes everyone, everyone yeah. on the island makes it, especially during Christmas. I've always seen it at Christmas. I mean, you can't do it at uh, other times of the year, but it is not a common thing outside of uh, Christmas season. But if you want to make it in June or July, go for it. Yeah, that was my... And I'm going to link all the ingredients below on the uh, description of this video. Okay, now cream of coconut. Cream of coconut's a little bit hard. If you don't have cream of coconut, you can use coconut milk. I've done that before too. Coconut milk is a good substitute for this. Now, if you use the milk, it's gonna be a little bit, the drink's gonna come out a little bit softer. Um, is that how you say it, Maria, softer? Yeah. Yeah, but it's gonna be what Maria calls ostigoso. It's gonna be very, very sweet. But well, that's okay. We drink in small quantities though. Now we're gonna eyeball a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And that's about it, one tablespoon. Yeah, it's recording, Maria. That's Maria. <laughs> Maria, come over here. No. <laughs> and two teaspoons of cinnamon powder. And now we're gonna do the rum. I think it's good it's for, for, for people. And mix it up. And maybe you, you, you have a so save your bottle. Hey okay, Maria, do you have the little thingy Whoop. that to pour the uh, the rum? Okay, so now we're gonna run this thingy machine here for about I don't know two minutes. Okay, Ovi, I have checked my bread, it's ready. I okay, it. let's go check your bread, yeah? Yeah, because I think it's gone. I'm sorry, Maria. Yes, you know, it's, it's not too strong now, it's good. Oh, perfect. Yes, yeah. because, you know, you can see. It's still yeah. crispy, it's very good, very nice. For so we want a crispy bread. Yeah, a little bit. You can, you can wait. Maybe we can finish the, the, the plate of cheese with, with potatoes yeah. because it's... Uh, oh, I burned the, the cheese. Okay, okay, the yes. Plate. All right, so now we're gonna go and okay, yeah. you're gonna yeah. add the cheese. Yeah, we can put the cheese in. Already mixed. Okay. You have um, Beaufort 
is uh, the, the, the best uh, in, in France. Okay. You like it? Uh, you have a Gruyere okay. and you have Appenzeller. Okay. And you, you can do it with the other cheese if you want. You can change. Sometimes we change from okay. for a lot of taste. And once things. we have the cheese, how long is it going to be there for? Oh, um, what you want. Huh? Because you, you can you can wait the cheese. It's not, it's not problematic. Hmm. Hey, look at this. Hey. Hey. Very nice, huh? Now we, we wait just. I like that cheese. It's very good, huh? Okay, we wait a little bit. We can put a little bit of muscade in. Muscado? Muscado? I don't know the name. Yeah, Moscato. Yeah. Moscato, Maria? Moscato or Luis Moscara? Moscara? Moscara. I, I love Moscara, huh? but I don't know if you like it because we don't put a lot because it, yeah, but yes, it's very, very strong. Huh? And now we wait, but, and we move all the time. All the time we move every to have a good consistency. Like every minute or so, okay. Because you have the wine in, and I move. Okay. Oh, you got kind of like mixing it up. Yeah, all, okay. always, always, all time. Okay. All time you move the cheese. So as you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and put the coquito in their bottles. I'm gonna fill out two bottles, and then I'm gonna serve you a little bit and a little bit for Maria too. <laughs> Maria, if you want me to serve yeah, you some coquito, you're gonna have to come on our side. So, get, so you can say uh, Merry Christmas to all of our viewers. Before? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> She's gonna do it. <laughs> oh, this is nice, nice. Uh, yeah. Look, looks nice. Doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I need to make a third bottle for our daughter, Joanna. She's coming tomorrow for Christmas Eve. And I, I need to have another one ready for her. So I think, yeah, one maybe for us today, one for us tomorrow, and a third for Joanna. Because Joanna loves this. Actually, the, all of our family, even Claudia. And uh, she lives up in Toronto, Canada, and she loves this. Time, our niece from Peru. Every time you, um, you have to check the bottle every time you are going to check the yeah. bottle. Let me, let me serve Maria a little bit and then we're going to try it at the same time. Yeah, for sure. You can put right. ice yeah. You can put I ice know. if you want to, ice. but I don't want to. I don't like it with ice. Okay, salute. Cheese, salute. Maria. Salute, Maria. Cheese. Oh, it smells very good, eh? Yeah. Not too strong. No, it, no it's not too strong. I taste it. Right. Give me more room. And it's more round? <laughs> a little bit. I like it, it's very good. But very it's nice. more round mm. or not? I don't know if you I like it. So. I like rum, no I think, I think it's just fine. It's perfect. But it's, yeah, it's perfect. But you, you know, too strong. You can add a little bit more if you want to, or maybe even a little less. But we normally add a half a bottle, sometimes maybe three quarters of a bottle, and it comes to be perfect. It's good. But it is super sweet. Yeah, very, very sweet. It's very good, Josep. Yeah? Okay, you're turning it over one more time. Yeah. Is it slow or high? No, it's. Um, yeah, it's high. Okay. Yeah, I need more time. Yeah, you turn all, all the time for the good one. Yeah. Okay, I put my plate here. You know what that is? Yeah. What? Drunk. Drunk. Borracha, I yeah. know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. What does borracha mean to you? Or borracho? No, oh, it's uh, so, uh, so drunk. Oh, okay. No, it's not that. Someone that likes to drink a lot. Yeah. yeah. Someone who's always drunk. Too yeah. happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, no, I'm no borracho. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sympathical, right? 
And you call this charcuterie, right? Yeah. Or eat. Ah. Oh. Or maybe the... Oh. Oh. Nice presentation, Sidi. No, I'm not, I'm not very good in the presentation, but... Uh, well, this is really, really good, we think. So what are you going to do now, CD? Um, I don't know the name in English, but it's a vinaigrette. It's a for, um, for the salad. Oh, okay. You know? With uh, mustard, vinegre, uh, vinaigre, and um, oil, olive. Okay, okay. Another. More. Okay. I like it. Strong. But we, maybe we don't finish today, but it's okay. We can put that one and vinaigre. Okay, red, yeah. uh, red uh, vinegar. Of quantity, but uh, you can go ahead if you are stronger or more stronger. Okay. Okay. It's okay. A little bit salt and pepper. All right, mix After it up. After you turn, mix it up with that. Okay. Is that going to be the dressing for the salad? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, a little bit salt and pepper. Okay. And two more. A little bit of salt. Yeah, a little uh, bit of pepper in. I love pepper with salad. So, it's okay. Now you mix again. And the oil. And after, you mix with oil. Oh, sorry, turn my, my cheese. Okay. Two minutes because it look, mm, it smells very good. No, look. Oh, yeah, it look. smells different. Yeah. And it's starting to, yeah, yeah. take its shape. This is like the third or fourth yeah, time that you it. turn it over. Yeah, it smells a lot different now. Yeah. It's really mixing in with the wine. Yeah. All right, you're going to add some olive, olive oil. oil. Yeah. You can do that with a uh, ton of solar. Not too more for have a good mixing. And it was your mother who taught you how to cook. Yeah, right? yeah. This one, this recipe, it's my mother. Huh? Yeah. All, all the south, the south um, French family, yes. um, doing this recipe for salad. Huh? Okay. All, I, always, always, always. I know the, the last time your mother visited oh, yeah. us, she was always cooking, and Maria loved her cooking. We, we can put garlic in, in the recipe, no. We can put the garlic in the salad or in the, um, the mixing. I put in the mixing now. I think, no. Okay. We can put... So that's again, ready? I'm yeah, we put a, again uh, of uh, oil because you have a lot of mustard. Yeah. And the more oil, the better. Olive oil is the best. Super healthy too. You can do. I think she is beautiful now. Yeah. Looks nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. the smell. Yeah, definitely. A lot yeah, stronger now. Mm -hmm. It has to be very melted. No. It's the beginning of, uh, you know. So it's it's gonna mix in yeah. really together, really nice. Yeah. And I can see it already. Not now, but after. Yeah, and it's been about what, 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. It's very nice now, you know. Yep. It is very nice now, you know. And it tastes great. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah. Here we have salad, vinaigrette, we have um, cheese, we just we plate, two, yeah. three plates. Yeah. All right, so we can yeah. eat. So let me do this once. Yeah. So I can put the piece of bread here on the stick. Yeah. And I can dip it into the no, cheese. Cheese very well. Okay. Don't lose your cheese. Like this? 
Very nice, nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. You like it? Okay, like perfect. It. Very good. Oh, okay. We have one, two, three. Three, three plates. Okay. So keep moving it even after yeah, you, know you start eating. Moving, you know? Okay. It's very so how do you serve this? Just a couple of uh... no, no, no. You you can take yeah, you can take a um, ham and a um, plate. Okay. And some bread or some salad if you want. What do you want? Okay. And after you just you take the bread and in the cheese and you eat the cheese. Same that same way you do. Okay. No. Okay. So a little bit of salad. I have all the other meats. And the bread with the cheese. Mm -hmm. That one is ready, all is ready, my drinking is ready. Okay, we can eat now. Mm -hmm. Buen appetito. Buen appetito. Et voilà, c'est parti. Bon appétit, Cyril. Merci. So, Cyril, this meal is really good. It's different, and we really enjoy it. So, thanks for making it. Thank you very much for yeah. For, yeah. for your welcome in your house. Um, we can eat now. Absolutely. So, yeah, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cyril, how do you say that in French? Bonne fin d'année. Mm -hmm. Okay. De joyeuses fêtes de Noël à tout le monde. Bon appétit. Bye bye. 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 Mm.